Hello everybody, I'm Sonia Jahan and welcome on Archkal. This is Cafe Flo, my mother's restaurant and I'm here for you guys to get to know me better. I've been shooting since uh, October 2006 till about January 2007 for my new film called Koya Koya Chand. I've been offered a lot of films since Taj Mahal but nothing that really got me excited and you know grabbed my attention. Either it was very commercial or it was me playing the role of some foreign girl and you know coming to India and doing a dance and everything and it really wasn't. And this was the first offer that came my way which was very interesting. It's about the Bollywood industry in the 1950s and I play an actor of that era, a uh, very established actor, tantrum throwing diva and uh, it's about the struggle between actors and directors and you know script writers and just the way life used to be in those days and um, also another reason why I decided to do this film was because of my grandmother and um, you know I thought it would kind of make me understand her better or at least where she came from so that was good I don't think I've been scared of being compared to her because uh, honestly for me she was a singer and I'm there as an actor so it's two different uh, you know uh, professions but I will be compared to her as far as my success is concerned, I think. And that is something that has uh, um, not scared me, but I'm aware of it. And I'm not even trying to compete because she was on a different league altogether. So I can't even think of, uh, you know, comparing myself to her. She was, she was a legend, like you said. Dado was Dado, you know. Uh, she was like any other daddy. She was very dramatic, very dramatic and uh, very animated. So it was a lot of fun. I used to go over and she used to tell me these stories and uh, she used to love um, joking around. Uh, and I think the minute um, there used to be a camera, or, it doesn't mean from an outside source, but even if her grandchildren had a camera with them or anything, she'd suddenly like, you know, play this whole Diva thing, which was fun. I wish Dado was alive to see my work and she'd for sure criticize it. She would definitely say, you know, you're a lot of work. So I'd like to share some pictures of my childhood, of my life. Uh, they're mostly um, from my younger days. So there's part of my life in Lahore, in France. Since my mother's French, I've gone there quite a bit. And I brought these, I've never shown them to anyone. So this is, uh, this is quite special. <laughs> so this was all in France. This is the first school I went to in uh, kindergarten. Um, when my mother was expecting Sikandar, uh, she wanted to uh, deliver in France and therefore I was in school during that that one year while she was expecting and this is my first school and my first friends and they're all Goras <laughs> and I have very few Gora friends now. Uh, this is my dad and um, Papa was married previously to a Swiss woman and he had this thing for Europeans I think and uh, he had uh, two children from from her Jangir and Samina so this is when they had come to Lahore, but this is ages ago. This is one Papa took. This is Dado, and uh, this is what this was my birthday, I think. Uh, she'd come. This is another one of Dado and me on my fourth birthday. This is a segment of me wanting to be a village girl, and I put, you know, one of those. Uh, baskets on my head and I took my mother's dubatta and just tied it around. I used to love being in a fantasy world, always. You know, there's me with rose petals on my forehead. Very dramatic. Look at, look at the hands. Then there's another album, which is... Um, 
this is me really young and ugly I, I look like a little rat but <laughs> um, this is in the south I was born in France I was born in the south of France so this is the initial pictures are all from the south um, my father very good looking man so you've got my 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 Pakistani cousins here and then you've got my French cousins here you've got my first Christmas where I was digging into the oranges thinking they're, they're toffees uh, not very happy about that this is my Aya I was a very naughty child this is the south of France with my dad um, this is this is me being Madam Noor Jahan in my eyes I put makeup and I had my mother had those big, you know, 80s glasses and it was very fashionable. So I've put them on my head and I'm just pretending to be here and pouting. And so I think it is something, it, it, it runs very strongly in, in, in my blood. This my father took. I just look petrified. That was uh, my life in a split second, my, at least my childhood in a split second. Um, I've shown you pictures that. Uh, I don't think anyone ever has seen me bald and everything. <laughs> um, this is one picture which I brought which is framed and this is my my grandmother when she was about 15 or 16 years old. This is Madame Noor Jahan in Bombay uh, and this is me uh, when I had gone for my screen test in Bombay for Taj Mahal. And, uh, Somehow, you know, I gave my mother all these pictures and she uh, decided to just put these two together because she just thought they were so, so alike and that we, we look alike. I think at that, at that point, when my makeup took two hours, and this was the first time, you know, I was sitting there in front of the mirror in a strange country. You know, my mum was with me, thank God, but I just remember saying, what am I doing here, you know? And the makeup took so long, and you know, the, the whole thing like, I get ready, you know, you're being called in certain five minutes, and the whole pressure of it was just um, overwhelming. And um, my first scene, I remember I had a mic, you know, attached to my clothes, and I had a dialogue to say to Pooja Batra and to Kim Sharma, and I just remember I said the dialogue, but I think I just said it without really knowing what the hell I'm saying. Sorry, <laughs> and my heart was going, duk, 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 and I thought, you know, that you won't be able to hear my my dialogues. You'll just be able to hear my heartbeat. It was just going out of control, and. Um, Akbar was very sweet and very, you know, encouraging. He said, no, no, it was really good and you know, everyone was proud and they all clapped. They were very nice. Uh, but the scene was cut from the film. <laughs> I do my work when something comes my way, but I'm not hungry to be a star. Therefore, I just do things when I'm offered and interesting work. I've just finished this in January. It's coming out in May. So I'm going to be going to Bombay right now for the marketing and the promotional work. And then I'll see. Then it's summer. Then I want to go on a holiday. <laughs> and after my holiday, I'll see. But I'm happy doing one or two films a year. I'm not, uh, I'm not there looking to sign contracts. <laughs> go mad. <laughs>